In Beijing this week, representatives from around the world have gathered to discuss the Belt and Road Initiative, or the BRI. The forum is a chance for concerns to be aired and solutions to be offered as the initiative moves into a next phase in a vision for global development. The keynote speech at the second Belt and Road Forum was delivered by President Xi Jinping on Friday. So what did he have to say about the progress made over the past six years? And what does the speech indicate about the future of the BRI? This is Xinhua Special at the 2019 Belt and Road Forum. In his speech, Xi Jinping said that joint building of the Belt and Road has opened up new space for the world's economic growth, created a new platform to boost international trade and investment, expanded new practices to optimize the global economic governance, and made new contributions to improving people's well-being of all countries. Since President Xi first announced the initiative in 2013, a total of 126 countries and 29 international organizations have signed relevant cooperation documents with China. The latest World Bank estimates suggest that BRI infrastructure projects alone will boost GDP by up to 3.4% for participating countries and by up to 2.9% globally. And this becomes clearer looking at the six economic corridors that have boosted development across Eurasia and beyond. East Africa now has its first motorway. Kazakhstan finally has access to the Pacific. And the China-Europe Railway has become the longest freight train service on the Eurasian continent. It's been said many times before that globalization is now an inescapable fact. But in recent years, it's become clear that if the general public are to accept this, the benefits must be distributed evenly. That's why Xi Jinping set targets and goals for the future development of BRI. The principle of extensive consultation, joint contribution and shared benefits should be upheld, said Xi. He stressed open, green and clean approaches, as well as goals of high standard, livelihood improving and sustainable development. But what is China doing to make sure that its own contributions to the Belt and Road are sustainable long term? In his speech, Xi announced a series of major reform and opening up measures to be taken by China. Broadening market access for foreign investment, strengthening international cooperation in intellectual property rights protection, increasing imports of goods and services on a larger scale, more effectively implementing international macroeconomic policy coordination, and attaching greater importance to the implementation of opening up policies. Xi Jinping called on all countries to create a sound investment environment and treat Chinese enterprises, students and scholars abroad as equals. All countries should provide a fair and friendly environment for them to carry out normal international exchanges and cooperation. President Xi said the Belt and Road Initiative aims exactly to bring about a community with a shared future for mankind. まさに運命共同体である人類の運命共同体であるというように述べられたことはまさに新しいと思っています。It is the joint project nature of Belt and Road which takes us towards I think that shared human future because that shared human future will have to be on the basis of doing things together doing things together to solve global issues. They're, they're not going to be done by single countries separately. The Belt and Road Initiative is not the first project that has attempted to bring the various cultures and societies of the world together with a shared purpose, nor is it the first international infrastructure project. But what sets the BRI apart from initiatives that have gone before is the level of inclusiveness and the broadness of ideas and values that it tries to bring together. In the end, it may become the first truly global cooperation that brings benefits not just to a select few, but for all.